everyone, it's me, Peterette Paradise, and today's video is going to be picking a hamster cage. So what to look for in a hamster cage? So when picking a hamster cage, the first thing you want to look for is size, which should be 450 square inches. And this goes for all species of hamster. So before anyone asks if you can house a dwarf in a smaller cage, the answer is no. A lot of people think that because a dwarf is smaller, they require a smaller cage, when this could be further from the truth. Dwarfs, believe it or not, actually require a lot of ground space. The reason why is because they have a lot of energy to burn and they are very fast. So they do need a large cage with a lot of ground space. So how do you find out the amount of square inches? Well, you measure the length by the width and then you times them together. And something quite a few of us in Europe tend to miss out is converting centimetres into inches. You have to remember that we are finding out square inches, so it has to be in inches in order for this to work. And if you're thinking, how do I do that? All you have to do is search centimetres to inches converter online. It should look something like this. Then you type in your length and the width in centimetres and click convert. That should give you the converted dimensions. You then take those and using the calculator, either online or an actual calculator, you put them in length by width and times them together. And that will give you your total amount of square inches. Another thing to look for is height. Try not to pick height over length because ground space is most important for a hamster. They are ground animals and they love to run, so they do need plenty of space and ground space. Although some may benefit in climbing, height space really isn't needed and it doesn't make your cage any bigger by adding more height. You also don't want a cage that's too tall because although hamsters like to climb and are quite good climbers, they are not the best at balance like rats. So there is a higher risk of them losing balance and then falling. And just so they were to fall from a great height, they could quite easily injure or even break their backs. So I definitely suggest picking a cage that is not too tall. If you have no option but to house them in a cage of a great height, then what I suggest doing is lay the entire whole roof with hanging toys, so that there is more of a chance of them landing on something beforehand, preventing them from a nasty fall.